Okay, got a nice looking little 12th scale Truggy from GP Toys here. Uh, just the actual look of it I like. Uh, well spread uh, wheels and it's got nice broad uh, low profile tyres there as well. Uh, and suspension is going to be pretty active as well. So I think you know a bit of rough terrain is going to be pretty cool. It's rear wheel drive uh, so that should give us some nice drift and uh, I think it's going to be a load of fun when I get it outside. I've popped the body clips off so let's just get in and have a look. And I just love the way they've designed this. It's sort of all tucked out the way, all neatly done and uh, you've got a 390 uh, brushed motor in there you even the battery bay area is well sort of tucked out the way as well and you just squeeze that together to pop it open and then we've got a uh, three cell in here 800 milliamp hour battery uh, so it's 9.6 uh, and like I say that all sort of tucked in pretty well nice uh, pretty beefy wiring in there as well which is rather good you've got an on off switch there uh, uh, for the actual car itself. Uh, it's got quite a bit of metal work on it this, so quite impressed with the spec and it's just over 30 quid at time of uh, reviewing. So you've got uh, metal uh, transmission cups and you've got metal dog bones as well. It's metal bearings uh, all the way around, ball bearings all the way around, so, and they're sealed as well, so it should be, it should be pretty good. It's going to be splash proof, but obviously not waterproofed in any way. You've got a 210 mil uh, wheelbase uh, and you've got about a 40 millimeter clearance there and underneath I actually quite like it because they've sort of tucked everything back away uh, which is I think good and you've got a nice sort of skid area there that we should push push the car up over anything you should miss any of the belly pan completely and perhaps catch the back end you've got a really nice big bumper on the back there and obviously a little spoiler as well but that, that's yeah yeah I quite like the look of it I'm just hoping it goes that well uh, they give about a 10 minute run time and up to uh, I think it gives about 30 odd miles an hour so it'd be interesting to see how we get on with that you get a bunch of spares with it as well, which is rather nice. I mean, simple things like extra body clips are really handy. Uh, if, and this, if this is your first car, I guarantee you're going to lose the body clips. So uh, nice to have a spare set of those. You've got spare gears for the transmission as well. You've got a little wrench in there and the actual... Uh, uh, wheel nuts are actually lock nuts as well so the spec's pretty good for what it is I think. Onto the transmitter and uh, it's proportional so you've got proportional steering and you've got proportional uh, throttle control as well so again that's a nice nice level of spec. It's a very simple uh, sort of inexpensive I would say I've, to be honest I'd say cheap uh, transmitter here there's no trim apart from your steering trim which obviously you need just in case anything goes out with the steering uh, and you can adjust that here and the wheel is removable as well so but once it's put in it, it doesn't feel as though it's going to come out you'd have to really wrench that to get that out uh, and there's no foam around it or anything um, uh, to go forward you pull, pull the, this backwards and basically the car will go forward leave it back to center it will stop or if you want to stop fast just push it right the way forward and then then it will actually sort of put the motor on in the other direction so it will basically stop it stone dead uh, and then if you back to center then back out forward uh, on the actual control it will make the car go backwards steering is turning right and turning left and like i say it's all proportional you've got the little on off switch there so the battery's all charged let's get out for a run Okay, out for my first run. It's all looking very clean. <laughs> well, the car is. <laughs> uh, we've got ice, we've got snow, we've got slush. Uh, so let's just see how this thing goes. So should be good. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Whoa, I don't know if that's going to actually... Whoa, it's really struggling with that. It is literally running on sheer ice and it just overpowers so I'm gonna to have to go and find somewhere which isn't got full ice on it. Mind you, if you want to drift this is the stuff to do it in. There we're getting a bit of a speed up! Whoa! <laughs> and it is proportional so you can do it so now watch it go. Hey that's better! Whoa nice! Oh it does actually get a move on, I wasn't too sure whether it would. Totally different driving experience to uh, four-wheel drive. Yeah, you can certainly overpower the back, which is quite nice actually, I quite like it. Ah, now we're fine on the stuff. Yeah, those tyres being low profile, they've not got a lot of sort of movement in the snow. I mean, it's not really designed for snow, obviously, but it certainly sp spins out.
Oh, I'm loving it on the ice. I'm not too sure it is. <laughs> Definitely more of a tarmac runner. Or grass, obviously. Yeah, there, it's having no trouble at all. Let's go and play on some grass, shall we? Yeah, it's not the grippiest, I must admit. You have to be really, you have to pull off gently on the throttle and then just gradually increase. The 4 by 4s run, to whoa, totally different. I didn't say it was going to be a gentle test for it, did I? <laughs> well, once it's going, it's fine, but you can easily spin out the back, no trouble. I quite like it actually. <laughs> Scales and gravel. Oh yes, you can do some drifts with this as well. Nice! That's more what it's aimed at. The ice was a little bit too strong for it. It's pretty good actually. Once you start getting used to it. Whoa, nice one. <laughs> I just killed the power there because I knew it wasn't going to carry it. So, and just with the power off and back on again, that worked really well. There we go. Actually, it's sort of warming up a bit now. It seems to be really nice. I do like the drift on it. It's really responsive on the throttle as well. I know it's only a 30 quid car, but. Yeah, see, it's even handling the ice better now. It does get a shift on. Nice, oh, it's good, I like it. It does seem to be getting warmed up, I must admit. So it's got the power, it just hasn't got the grip to to get through those bits. Well, look, that's handling there pretty good. Nice. It is cool. I like it. Loving the drift on it. And wheelies as well. You're just overpower, it's quite nice actually. Really enjoying it. <laughs> really? <laughs> Never would have guessed. <laughs> Virtually impossible to turn over, I think. So low at the ground. I was going to go past and then I thought about getting up. I didn't do either. <laughs> oh, I did manage to get it flicked over. That took a bit of effort, actually. Oh, mind you, it did run up the side of there. <laughs> God, like I was saying, the way they've tucked that back out of the way, not a mark on it. I like it. you just got to be really gentle on that throttle. Like I say, totally different to my 4 before models. It will actually do it though, having struggled with it earlier. Oh no, there we go. Well, that's a bit, you've got to be far more skillful with it. Oh, I'm loving this. So ease the throttle right off and it gradually gets some grip there. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this is slow motion drift without actually doing slow motion. This is brilliant. <laughs> Here you go, you really have got really slow. Look at that. That's really nice. Nice proportional throttle on it. There we go. Cool, the difference. <laughs> that is really good good training for it. For me, sorry, not for it. For anyone wanting, you know, a car that you, you have to concentrate on driving, which I actually quite enjoy. I, I like it on the quads as well. If I could do something that actually takes a bit of brain power <laughs> and you've got to actually think about what you're doing, I find it much more rewarding than just pressing a button and it doing things. So it's coping pretty well. Cool, the difference when you touch that gravel. I'm keeping that at full power just to see what happens. Yeah, and it'll just spin out. Yeah, quite a nice sort of driving experience as opposed to just sort of it doing it. You've got to work on it. <laughs> oh, I like it. It's cool. That's a pretty long runoff here as well. If you want to go full out, it really does go. I don't reckon the thir with 33 they give on it. I don't think that's far off. really does cope well when you actually use your, use your your sort of driving on it it's really nice very rewarding like I said I, I certainly haven't had a this size in rear wheel drive only yeah, I don't think I've had such a rewarding drive of you know actually going I thought the battery had gone there, but... Whether or not that's down to the two-wheel drive, or whether or not it's down to those tyre profiles, I'm not too sure. Whoa! Battery's definitely going. I'm on full throttle now. It's oh, it's really struggling. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> that's almost back down to like the four by fours now. You just got sort of the power just sort of grips every time you go. Oh yeah, that is really slow now. I'm going to run the battery out just so you can see how long we actually got on a full run. And the batteries do perform better after they've done several runs. So a dozen runs, yeah, I don't know, half a dozen dozen runs. Uh, through on the battery and it will give you more performance, so it tends to. Yeah, now we haven't got the uh, all that power coming on full power, it's gripping the ice, no trouble at all. So it is just throttle control. <laughs> it's definitely no ice truck, that's for sure. I could put some uh, spikes on it, I suppose, that would do it. Yeah, there we go, the battery is absolutely gone. So As far as I can see, no damage at all. Uh, just needs to go into the air recoupler's chain, need to dry it off, get that battery on charge out here for another blast. Okay, so there we go. This is after about eight, 10 batteries I must have put through this. Um, and it's, you know, I've been bashing it around as you saw. Like I said, the way this sits back is not a mark on that. It's a few tiny little scratches here, but honestly, I, I can hardly see them. I don't expect the camera's even gonna pick them up. Uh, and on the back end, there's hardly anything either. Uh, just, yeah, it's just really quite resilient. For what it is, again, we're looking just over 30 quid, I think this thing is uh, at the moment. So I'm quite impressed with it, actually, to be perfectly honest. It's not oil filled suspension or anything. It is, you know, 30 pound aimed at car, but I, I think it's good value for money. It's a totally different driving experience to any of my four before ones. And I don't actually, I certainly haven't got anything this size in two wheel drive. 
whether the spinning out is due to these tires which don't have an awful lot of grip on them as you can see or whether it's the low profile uh, or whether it's just the rear end and when it starts to get going it really does spin out very quickly but to be honest uh, and I'm always honest on the reviews I actually enjoyed this I've been back out and out and out with this trying to actually master it uh, if it was on warm tarmac probably or just you know a warm day where these could get a little bit of warmth in them and you were on you know light gravel or probably even grass and everything it would probably bat along but I think you're always going to be able to spin this back end out with just the way it goes it really does get a shift on as well the 30 odd miles an hour I reckon that's about right certainly upper 20s uh, and it certainly shifts around and like I said I've bashed it quite a few times not a mark on it I'm just being honest here, um, if, if I'd have got this and never had a fall before I wouldn't know any difference at all but there is a huge difference in the driving experience but I found it a rewarding driving experience, I, I quite like that. I like my quads um, the same way, I've got a massive, you know, the big Typhoon H uh, with the GPS on it, I actually quite flick the GPS off quite often and just manually fly, um, I, I just enjoy that but uh, not for everyone I know. Now. Uh, the actual layout and everything I was impressed with before I ran it out and this got really soaked there was you know uh, snow coming up inside it and everything and in there the, everything sits above sort of uh, the base just slightly uh, so the water was sat in there I tipped it out put it in the airing cupboard of Shane uh, I did blow it off with a little airline little brush and just uh, made sure I put a little drop of oil on all the joints uh, and everything's absolutely fine it almost looks brand new to be perfectly honest battery bay area was very good and like say that this is sort of kept just out of the way so I didn't really have wind up with much uh, water ingress there. Charging up the, the battery, uh, like I say plug it into there, I don't think I mentioned this earlier, you get a red LED on here when it's charging and then when it's fully charged it goes green so you do know it's charged. I was getting about 16 minutes out and that was on average over all the runs on it um, with just constantly batting it around or trying to be precise with it and you know get grip um, so it, it's around that sort of time which is very good because I think they give about 10 minutes on it um, I, I am surprised with all the cars they quite a lot of them they give too low uh, which is nice sort of thing range I, I know some people really want the range and I would imagine it does 100 meters I, I was I ran it right the way off down the drive and everything and that, that's got to be sort of 80 odd meters easy I would have thought uh, no problem at all the transmitter worked really well uh, the only thing I did find and again being honest this is just slightly slippy most cars actually have foam around here uh, but it doesn't have it so yep <laughs> Tigger's RC review easy to sort that with a couple of elastic bands and then you can you can even do the one hand driving no problem at all and then you've got real grip on that and you've got a bit more feel on it as well it didn't sort of slip around in your hand Bear in mind, it is midwinter in the Highlands and it, my hands were freezing, so they do tend to slip on plastic anyway. But with a couple of rubber bands on there, all sorted. So all in all, I really liked it. I loved it as a driving experience and it, it is different to the others. Uh, would I buy it? Yes, I would, actually. I, yeah, For the money, I think this is really good value for money compared to the other ones I've reviewed around the upper 20 marks and even into the early 40 marks. I would say this was pretty good. Is it for you? I don't know. I can't spend your hard-earned cash for you uh, and nobody else should, so you make your mind up. The uh, I've really enjoyed having you along for the drive. Hope you've enjoyed all the slow-mo stuff and the playing around because I certainly have. And I see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.